It's a sound recognized across the world. Reggae music has come a long way from its roots in Jamaica in the 1960s. The music started off as the voice of the marginalized in Kingston, drawing influences from genres such as jazz and ska. It quickly spread across the world with its message of love, peace and social justice, thanks to artists such as Bob Marley, the Toots and the Maytals and Peter Tosh. Its influence around the world has now been recognized by UNESCO. We consider intangible cultural heritage to be of extreme significance in a country's identity. And so in Jamaica, we are proud of the fact that this element of reggae music is one in which we often describe as that which we eat, sleep, and breathe. Reggae is no longer only ours. The world has now taken it as their own. UNESCO is best known for its World Heritage List, which includes the Great Wall of China, the Grand Canyon, and the Old City of Jerusalem. But its list of intangible cultural heritage is impressive in its own right and includes flamenco, yoga, and Mongolian knucklebone shooting. It's a great pride and at the same time greatly humbling to know that the work that we do, that the messages we send have not fallen on deaf ears and that the humanity we defend by glorifying it, by denouncing its failings, OK, this humanity also deserves to be celebrated, to be respected. Other practices added to this year's list include the Irish sport of hurling and Egyptian puppetry, an ancient form of theatre. Bob Marley defined reggae music. Now, it belongs to the world more than ever. Philip Weira, TRT World. Don't let them fool.